I was asked to look at this edger by a very good friend who I haven't seen in quite some time. Now the issue was that they weren't able to get it started, but after a minute or so, I was finally able to get it to start. Now these engines do have a few issues, but I think I can get it to start a little easier. I appreciate him giving me this opportunity to take a look at it, so in return, when I give it back to him, I want to make sure it looks as good as it's going to perform. What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by. Today's project is this Troy built edger and the problem is that it doesn't always want to start. But before we try and fix the issue I want to give it a good cleaning that way I don't get dirt in places where it's not supposed to be like in the fuel tank, the carb or inside the engine which is what we more than likely need to do to fix the issue on this one. Now, since this is an edger, it's going to throw quite a bit of dirt around, and with the majority of the machine near the ground, it's going to get really dirty. Now, to be honest, it's really not too bad because it could be covered in oil and dirt. However, it could stand to be cleaned before being handled while I try to fix it. I don't normally show the cleaners I'll be using, but I get enough comments asking me about them that I figured I'd show you this time. I'm going to use an engine degreaser for the dirtiest parts, and for the other parts, I'm going to use a citrus-based cleaner that I have in this simple green spray bottle. I didn't show them, but as backup, I also use old gasoline, and to get the gasoline residue off, I have to use liquid soap. The first thing I want to do is to spray every part that I want to get cleaned. I do want to be careful though because this degreaser could damage some of the stickers and that means you might want to take a picture of all the paper stickers before the ink is completely destroyed. This information might be needed to get the right parts for your machine. Now since this edger isn't all that big, I'm going to spray the entire machine. After spraying it down, I'm going to let it soak for several minutes, and then I'm going to hose it down and see what areas I'll need to clean again. For this one, I'll be using the garden hose, but you don't need to use one. Now, since this is basically the power head from a trimmer made to work as an edger, I don't think you'll want to use a pressure washer on it because you could damage it. Now, surprisingly, after several minutes, it looks cleaner already. Next, I'll just spray it down and see how much dirt is left over. Once I got done spraying it down with my garden hose, I have to admit it looks really good. The majority of the dirt is gone, and once I let it dry, it should look even better. The only issue is that it really wasn't that dirty to begin with, it just had some dirt on it. There wasn't any grease or oils to cut through, which would have been a really good test for the degreaser. However, I think I have an idea which I'll show you once I try getting this edger started. Before I try and start this edger, I do want to check on the oil level just to make sure I'm not going to damage the engine. According to the sticker on the side of the engine, the oil should be level with the threads. I know it's hard to tell, but it looks to be that way. Now when I got this edger, it already had gasoline in it, it smells fresh, and its color is what I expect it to be, so I'm going to try and start it with what's already in the tank. Surprisingly, it started on the second pull, which is great news. However, we're going to try it again later on in the video and see if it starts the same way. In the meantime, I'm going to touch up a few places that are still kind of dirty. I know it's not going to matter after the first time it's used, but I want my friend to be impressed on how it looks when I give it back to them. And if they don't notice how clean it is, I'll be sure to mention it to them. I forgot to show you this earlier, but according to the information sticker, this edger was built in 2014, so it's held up surprisingly well for being several years old. Now most people don't use their edgers much after spring, but I'm sure this one has several hours of use under its belt. This is important because there's a maintenance issue that's being neglected here. We're now going to try and start it again, and we'll see if it starts like it did last time, or if it's going to start acting up.
so this time it took multiple pulls to start, but it did eventually start, which is always good. However, I think we can improve its poor starting by looking at the maintenance schedule in the next video. The second issue seems to be a throttle that wants to hang open. This really isn't a huge problem, and we'll see if a little bit of lube will fix it in the next video as well. I know they sell these blades for edgers, but I don't like using them on this type of engine because of the lack of power and the high load that it puts on this tiny little engine. If this was my edger, I would probably put the conventional blade back on instead. Of course, the other option would be to get a real edger like this one I got for free from an older gentleman. Now, this engine has more than enough power to handle that large three-sided blade. The reason I brought this one out was to test how well that degreaser works on a real oily mess. The side of this engine is covered in oil and dirt from several years of usage, so I'll be impressed if it does work on it. The first thing I'm going to do is to spray the entire area with plenty of degreaser, then I'll wait the 10 minutes the instructions recommend. It also says I should scrub on the dirtiest parts, but I wasn't sure if that was before or after the 10 minutes, so I waited the 10 minutes thinking it'd still be wet, but as you can see, the degreaser has soaked into the dirt and oil, so scrubbing on it was kind of pointless, but I tried it anyway. Next time, I'll scrub on it as soon as I apply it. So after using a fair amount of water from the garden hose, this is what I'm left with. I hate to say it, but this didn't work out as well as it did on the smaller edger, but yet again, this one was a lot dirtier too. Maybe I'll do the test again, but I'll have a second degreaser to compare with. Right now, I'm going to scrub on it with some old gasoline and then some soap, and it should make it look a lot better, which as you can see, it certainly did. Now, don't get me wrong, I still think this degreaser is great stuff. I still recommend it to people, but I haven't found that miracle degreaser that makes this job of cutting through oil and dirt any easier, at least not without a lot of scrubbing. For equipment that's not too dirty or oily, this spray and wash technique definitely saves a lot of time and work. However, I wouldn't throw away your old toothbrush just yet. Depending upon when this video is released, the repair video for this edger might have already been released as well. If not, it'll be released very soon. If it has been, there'll be a link at the top of the screen. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask me any questions about this project or about your own projects, and I hope to see you in the next video.